of mushroom down here. Honestly no idea what it is. It's like a ball sort of encased in almost like a flower around it. It's not the prettiest thing but it is quite interesting to look at. I don't know what it is. I've not seen one before but I'll be honest while I enjoy taking photos of mushrooms I'm certainly no expert on what they are. It's a lovely sunny day in Edinburgh, but under all these trees, it's actually really, really dark. Even filming this video on that ISO 1000. So I'm probably gonna be relying on my tripod for a lot of my photos today. I'm gonna keep this first shot fairly simple. I've got my 35 mil macro lens on, so that gives me a much wider angle. It allows me to get up close on my subject, but still keeping in some of the context around it. That's really important with this because not only have we got the actual, I think it's some sort of puffball mushroom, I think, um, itself, but then it's got that kind of star-shaped covering. It's also tucked in amongst the dead leaves and this nice rock. So there's all of this sort of contextual uh, stuff going on that I really want to make sure I capture. I've tried to set up a scene when I've got this larger one in the foreground. It's hopefully going to go a little bit out of focus. But to help that, I'm going to bring my aperture down to f4.5, which is going to give me a shutter speed of a quarter of a second. I'm going to tap to focus on the middle point of this mushroom. Oh, I hate to be this samey, but I have found another one of those really amazing looking mushrooms in its star cup. This one looks, I think, even better than the other one. So I'm going to get another shot. This one looks particularly good because we've got it poking out of the ground. The star cup that it's in looks really pristine. And I think it's going to make for a good photo. Even with my tripod legs splayed out, I can't quite get low enough for this shot. So what I'm gonna do is swap to this tripod. So what I'm gonna do, take out the center column, pop my camera on, and then put it in upside down. Now that way, can get a lot lower to the ground but still see what I'm doing. I spent a little bit of time fiddling with this shot trying to get my flash in the right position and get my settings right but what I've actually done is combined flash and LED because if I just take the shot without the flash so with only the flash then what we get is really nice light falling on the center of this mushroom and on the outline of the leaves. And that's fine, but the ones that are closest to the camera, they're not seeing that flash at all, so they fall into complete darkness. And I don't really like anything falling into complete darkness like that. So what I'm doing is just bringing in this LED light at its lowest setting, and that is just helping fill in some of those shadows on the underside of the mushroom. As a result, when I combine the two, we've got that flashlight coming in. That's really still the strongest light source in the image, so it really picks out the center of our mushroom, but we've still got some nice light falling on those shadows. Quite often, I will have in my kit bag a flash and an LED, and it's not really a choice of which one is better, but it's about how do I use them, and sometimes I use them together. What I like about these leaves is that they go all the way up and 
what I'm trying to do is use some of the closer leaves as foreground and then kind of shooting through them using a shallow depth of field and then focusing on some ones that are further up this trunk. And I think it gives a nice effect. I'm at F2. I've manually focused, otherwise the autofocus gets a little confused. ISO 200, 1600th of a second. And I'm just snapping away, just slightly shifting the position of my camera. I was just walking past here, actually just recording the outro for this video. And as I was doing, I looked down, and I saw all these mushrooms around here. They are right next to the footpath, so it might be a little tricky to shoot. And some of them don't look great, but I'm really hoping that one or two might lend themselves to a photo. Maybe some around here. I'm gonna get my camera set up, seeing if I can make something of this scene. This one with a, a creamy cap. I'm shoot, I've backed my camera up a little bit because I'm on my 100mm lens. f2.8, hundredth of a second. I actually found another mushroom, but this one I found slightly off the path. It's tucked in between these rocks that are kind of coming out in this sort of V shape. There's ferns around it, there's mosses, there's other things. So it really kind of looks like this mushroom is in this like gully surrounded by foliage. And I think it looks really, really nice. And I've got my flash basically hidden in the uh, foliage down here, giving it some side light coming in. Because I really like how the mushroom looks in this position, but I'm just wondering if I can get a better shot. I'm gonna try it with a 35. Maybe by using a wider angle lens, but getting closer up, I might get different results. I'm also gonna try hand holding the camera. Oh yeah. With this 35 on, able to get really down into the mess. That's giving me a lovely low angle view. Well, that brings me to an end of today's video. It's felt a little bit piecemeal for me, to be honest, because I didn't really find a lot of what I was kind of hoping for. So sort of jumped between different subjects a little bit and if it's felt like that to you then my apologies but it is sometimes the nature of simply coming out seeing what you can find and maybe sometimes you'll find exactly what you're after other times not so much but if you have enjoyed this video then do please give it a like and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you don't already and I will see you next time